Have you ever heard stories of treasure and gold and precious gemstones? Did you know treasure is mentioned in the Bible? Jesus talked about treasure when he taught people about how valuable and precious the kingdom of heaven is. And the last book of the Bible, Revelation, tells us about a whole city made of treasure. I'm Nathan with Kids Enjoying Jesus, and this is my parrot Fiesta, and this is a piece of treasure. Do you know what this purple gemstone is called? Keep watching and you'll find out. I want to show you 12 of the gemstones mentioned in the Bible and tell you about the very best part of heaven. Let's get started. People sometimes use small pieces of gemstones or gold or pearls to make jewelry. But can you imagine having a whole house made out of treasure? How about an entire city made out of treasure? The last book of the Bible, Revelation, tells about a huge city made of treasure. Listen closely while I read about it because I'm going to show you pictures of the 12 gemstones mentioned in the book of Revelation and you'll have to guess what they're called. The Bible says, the wall was built of jasper while the city was pure gold, like clear glass. The foundations of the wall of the city were adorned with every kind of jewel. The first was jasper, the second sapphire, the third agate, the fourth emerald, the fifth onyx, the sixth carnelian, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysoprase, the eleventh jacinth, and the twelfth amethyst. And the 12 gates were 12 pearls. Each of the gates made of a single pearl and the street of the city was pure gold, like transparent glass. Wow, this sounds amazing. And this city isn't make-believe. It's a real city in the kingdom of heaven that the Bible calls the New Jerusalem. God tells us about this awesome city of treasure to help us understand that God's kingdom is more valuable than anything. But as fabulous as these gemstones are, these treasures are not what makes the kingdom of heaven so precious and so valuable and so awesome. There is something way better than any treasure you can imagine. Jesus is the greatest treasure. Let's take a closer look at the gemstones God uses to build this epic city. And I'm going to show you pictures and let you guess which gemstone is which. After I tell you which gemstone it is, I'm going to ask, what's the greatest treasure? And we can all pretend to grab a super precious treasure and shout, Jesus is the greatest treasure. Let's try it. What's the greatest treasure? Jesus is the greatest treasure. Now, some of these gemstones come in many different colors, and the Bible doesn't have pictures to show us exactly which colors of each gemstones will be in heaven. So I can only show you pictures of what they can look like. If you want to see exactly what these gemstones look like in heaven, you'll have to go there for yourself someday. We'll talk more about that in a minute. First, let's look at some treasures. What do you think this reddish gemstone is called? Do you think it's Jasper? onyx or sapphire. This is jasper. It's a beautiful treasure, but what's the greatest treasure? Jesus is the greatest treasure. Let's look at another gemstone. This one is shiny and black and really smooth. It's been polished really smooth. Do you think it's carnelian, emerald, or onyx? This black gemstone is onyx. It's a beautiful treasure, but what's the greatest treasure? Jesus is the greatest treasure. What about this next gemstone? It's bright blue. Do you think it's beryl, sapphire, or topaz? This bright blue gemstone is a sapphire. It's a beautiful treasure, but what's the greatest treasure? Jesus is the greatest treasure. What about this really pretty gemstone? This one actually comes in lots of different colors. The one in the picture is purple. Do you think it's chrysolite, jacinth, or agate. This one is called agate. It's a beautiful treasure, but what's the greatest treasure? Jesus is the greatest treasure. Now, what about this bright green gemstone? Do you think this green gemstone is emerald, topaz, or amethyst? This one is an emerald. It's a beautiful treasure, but what's the greatest treasure? Jesus is the greatest treasure. Let's look at another one. What about this orangish, reddish gemstone with the cool stripes? Do you think it's jacinth, carnelian, or barra? This gemstone is called carnelian, and it's a beautiful treasure, but what's the greatest treasure? Jesus is the greatest treasure. What about this extra shiny, bright green gemstone? Do you think it's jacinth? agate, 
or chrysolite. This one is called chrysolite. It's a beautiful treasure, but what's the greatest treasure? Jesus is the greatest treasure. How about this light pink gemstone? Do you think that it's beryl, jacinth, or amethyst? This one is called beryl. It's a beautiful treasure, but what's the greatest treasure? Jesus is the greatest treasure. This next gemstone comes in lots of different colors. What do you think it's called? Do you think this gemstone is called chrysoprase, topaz, or amethyst? This one is called topaz. It's a beautiful treasure, but what's the greatest treasure? Jesus is the greatest treasure. I think this next one looks kind of like candy. It's a green apple color. Do you think it's an emerald? Is it chrysoprase or is it jacinth? This one is called chrysoprase. It's a beautiful treasure, but what's the greatest treasure? Jesus is the greatest treasure. This next one is a deep reddish brownish color. What do you think it's called? Do you think it's amethyst, diamond, or jacinth? This one is called jacinth. It's a beautiful treasure, but what's the greatest treasure? Jesus is the greatest treasure. This last one is one of my favorite gemstones and I showed you a small piece of it earlier that wasn't worth very much because it's not pure and wasn't carved. The one in this picture is worth a whole lot more. Do you think it's a diamond, a ruby, or an amethyst? This purple gemstone is called amethyst and it's a beautiful treasure. But what's the greatest treasure? Jesus is the greatest treasure. God's word says there will be a city in heaven that's made with these beautiful treasures as well as lots of gold and pearls, but that's not the best part. There's something much, much better. Listen to this. The Bible says, behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them and they will be his people and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning nor crying nor pain anymore for the former things have passed away. The best part of God's future perfect kingdom is there is no sadness, no sickness, no death, and no sin, and everyone who believes in Jesus will live with him there forever. That's what makes God's kingdom more valuable than anything. That's why Jesus is the greatest treasure. God not only has a plan for our lives today, but he also has a plan for tomorrow and always. That's why Jesus went back to heaven to build a big house for us so everyone who believes in him could be with him forever. When Jesus was a carpenter, he became well known. Around the town of Nazareth, he built the people homes. You could hear the hammer go clang, clang, as he pounded on the nails. You could hear the saw go chuck, chuck, another house for sale. I'm going to prepare a place for you. laid his hammer down to work the father's plan the soldiers picked that hammer up to nail his feet and hands you could hear the hammer go clack clack as they nailed him there to die the angels all sang glory as he rose on high i'm going to prepare a place for There are many rooms, one for me and you. Will you be there with Jesus? Will you believe him too? He will hear you knock if you seek the Lord. And when you come in Jesus' name, he'll open up the door. I'm going to prepare a place for you. Father's house.
my father's house.